Ooh, for a good episode, here Cheers. it is. That's actually not bad. I love it. Wow. Is that the one by the house? Or Dude, we are on the second episode here in Fontana, and we have Stephanie. Woo! For the people who don't know, what do you do? Who are you? Where do you come from? Give us a breakdown. Okay, so my name is Stephanie. I am 23 years old. My birthday is next week. I'm going to be 24. Oh. Um, I am in school right now. I want to be a nurse. Mm. So I'm doing my prerequisites to become a registered nurse and stuff. So there that's go. what I'm currently working on. I live in Chatsworth. Nobody really knows where that is. I know. I know where that is. It's up there kind of by like Calabasas. In the valley. Yeah, the valley. Um, so, yeah. Oh, all right. So you live in Chatsworth. How did you end up? And this side of town, like um, Baldwin okay. Park um, area. I started. <laughs> okay, so I was on Twitter. And oh, then okay. Somebody slid into my DMs, and then you know I started dating that person. So that's why I came to Baldwin Park, <laughs> Covina, Fontana. Now, so it's. it's and how been, long have you been dating this this person? This person, we have been dating. It's going to be three years. In September. Yeah. Big plans for that anniversary or what? I don't know. I don't know. It's you on him, huh? It has to be on him. Yeah, we'll we'll, ask, we'll him. ask him. I mean that yeah. that's interesting. Three years, that's a Yeah, it's a while. That's a while. It's a while. Were you guys already dating like before that or is this three years total? Uh we were talking. I think we started talking in like two thousand sixteen. So we we're like off and on, off and on. Mm. Kind of just like talking, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think it was more of like I've never met a person online, so I'm scared to like meet. To a, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like meet somebody online. Definitely. So that was like holding me back for a bit, and then one day I was just like, okay, like let's just do this. Let's try this out. Yeah, let's, let's try this out. Yeah. Mm. So that's and story. now here you are. And here I am in Fontana. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I mean, Fontana with. Yep. Uh, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I would have never known about Fontana. I mean, probably like heard about it, but I would have never known about Fontana or be like over here in Fontana if it wasn't. Yeah. For my relationship. So let's take it back to like registered nurse. Why? Why school and why pursuing being a nurse? Um, well, I feel like when I was younger, well, first of all, a lot of my family members, they're nurses. My uncle's mm. a nurse. My aunt was a nurse. My cousin's a nurse. My mom, like, growing up, like, she would take care of, like, elderly people. Like, yeah. Um, and then w even when I was younger, like, my dad, he would always bring me into, like, the elderly homes. And nice. I would just be, like, playing with the elderly people. Like, they taught me how to play blackjack, like, dominoes. <laughs> like, we were gambling, and I was, like, seven years old, you know? But I would love to, like, go and, like, hang out with them, you know? Yeah. And I truly do love, like, helping people. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. I love just, I don't know, like I've like during school and stuff, you like go and you do your clinicals and you're like talking to these people. And it's so sad because I've had like people tell me like, oh, my God, like my family hasn't visited me in like two, three months. They kind of just like drop them off. Yeah. They're all sick. And it, it's so sad, you know. So it's nice. Sometimes they tell you like your their life story. And it's just like insane how like. Yeah, I think that like that's so crazy. Not crazy, but like. When you hear those type of stories, I think for the most part, me, myself, I usually resemble it or think about it like me, like, fuck, I don't go through that. I don't yeah. ever have gone through that. And for those people, after living a long, loving life to basically getting dropped off on daycare yeah. and it's sad. I want to see you when I see you. It's sad. It's not even that, too. Like, I've seen some nurses, like, they treat the patients oh, just yeah. like those... so badly. And I'm just like, why are you a nurse in the first place if you're going to treat so you want to get in there and make a, make like a, a difference. some a difference, yeah, right? Like even if it's just like I don't know, hearing somebody out about their life, like yeah. it, it means the world to them. Like they have stories like for days, like and yeah. it's just like crazy, you know. So that's dope that's because goal. I mean, usually when when you ask people about being a registered nurse or why they're doing it, oh, because I've always loved being in the medical field and mm -hmm. da da da, but like you never hear about. The, the background story. The background to it. And that's dope. Yeah. Like, you've been around 
oh, that yeah. scenario for as long as you've you've known time, you know what i mean yeah. damn so besides being a registered nurse like what else do you do what out like what else well right now i'm a full-time student my mom is very big on like i don't want you to work because i want you to focus on school because she never really had that privilege like growing Ooh, up yeah she like her parents were never really like forcing her to go to school in a sense but she never really finished school yeah she hated school or whatever and now it's more of like I'm, I go through a hard time and I don't want you to go through the same things that I am going through. Yeah. So I want you to kick ass in school and just work hard. 100%. So she like really motivates me and even like sometimes because she's a single mom and sometimes I'm just like I want to help you out with like bills and like stuff, you know, because obviously you don't want to see your parent go through a hard time. And she's like, no, just go to school. Like I just want you to go to school, get your degree, yeah. have a good life and, you know, like don't. I don't want you to be like me every day, just like stressing Ooh. out about work, stressing out about bills, like, you know what I'm saying? So how does that make you feel? Is that, that's something like, no, yeah, that is... I always feel like it's, I feel kind of like stuck sometimes because I understand her point of view, but it also, I feel like it's a lot of pressure on my end yeah. because I'm just like, oh my God, like nursing school is not easy. Like, no, it's not easy. Mm. And sometimes like if I don't do very well on the test, like I beat myself up for it. Like, yeah. Cause you, you hear people like really have been in school for X amount of years and yeah. not going nowhere. But that's what like I tell. And I think obviously, you knowing John yeah. Gordo and all them and the podcast we did with them not too long ago was literally like, you don't always need school because as long as you find your, your place, your, place, your, your, your passion. And at one point that shit will pay. If you really put your energy and like work into it. No, yeah. But having a purpose and having that like it right behind you, it's just like, all right, this is why I keep going. Like you, yeah. you're saying your mom, seeing your, what your mom goes through or seeing like every day. Mm-hmm. That's like so dope because yeah, yeah. she's my motivation for sure. Ooh. And obviously I'm also like motivated because, you know, she wakes up at like four o'clock in the morning every day to go to work. Like I don't oh. want that to be like, man, like, you know, yeah. So, yeah, I just want to work hard and I promised her a house. Like all she wants, she wants to get out of California first of all cuz all of her family is like in Mexico. We're, oh, okay. So, she, I mean, she has a sister here in uh San Francisco, but she doesn't really like see her. Yeah. But her goal is to move out to Mexico and just like live Damn, life what over part? there. Uh, Michoacán, Puro Andiro. That's where I was born. Yeah. Es todo, Wally. Puro Michoacán, Wally. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's where I was born. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I came here when I was three years old. Eso es todo, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because with my compadre Hector, her uncle, um, he's from Sinaloa, and there's been like TikTok videos about places. Tell me you're from this place in Mexico without telling me. Mm-hmm. And my parents are from Michoacan, from La Salceda. Oh, wow. So they talk. Well, my parents don't talk like that. My dad, eh, sometimes, but like oh. other people from that town that are over here, that's how they talk. So we made fun of a TikTok and it's just telling, it was, I think, the one where they went to Starbucks and he said, the guy said, Benti. And uh-huh. it was like, ¿A dónde va a <laughs> So that's like, at the whole, I've called her uncle like twice this week and he answers and I just started talking because I was like uh-huh and Bro, he knows that's what so, you're talking about <laughs> yeah that's so crazy yeah. so three years old came this three way three years old yeah man it's a trip has was that any sort of effect to you in any sort of way or like your mom or anything I mean I came here first and then my parents came like after like I came with my grandma but I mean it's kind of hard to say because I was three years old I really yeah. don't remember like much um but in a sense I feel like it has molded me to the person that I am because For sure. the only reason why I got my papers, I'm legal now, um, is because of my dad through his work. Like he nice. wasn't necessary, like he wasn't documented, but his boss was like, Hey, like I'll help you out. Like, yeah. I know you're a really great worker here. Like I'll help you and your family out. And it was all things to his boss that wanted to help him out. Really? And I just became a citizen. Like, was it like three years ago? Yeah, and my mom too. Like once Trump went into office, my mom was like, "No, we got to get our papers. We have to get like." Damn! Yeah. Look at that. That that's Which is crazy. That's great, dude. Congrats! Like yeah, that's thank you. That's big. No, yeah. Like for a lot of people um, that I've seen, one that have papers and 
still don't do anything and two that don't have any and are yeah. just complaining and you're just yeah. guns blazing like you're and it's i mean it's not easy to get your papers like i know it's so expensive now like to get your papers and stuff i think like back then was like i don't know 400 500 and now it's like a thousand something to try to like get those papers so i mean it's sad but i'm very thankful you know that i was able to get my papers. but that's like so again <laughs> obviously everybody viewing like they don't know that i already know you but yeah. it's just like really yeah. hearing now a little bit of your background like that's that's dope because your energy even though like when we see you at, at the family events and everything it's it's so out there but yeah. it's just like damn like now a there's a story. Yeah, yeah like she has like a reason why why to look at life differently no, yeah. not differently but like at a, in a certain way because it's it wasn't just here you go here's oh, no. the here's the red carpet here's the castle here's all oh, the no. riches it's just yeah it'd be great if life was like that but no so so how do you see it like going i just wanted to ask you that question like your mom said you not working it how do you see that for yourself maybe future kids like mm -hmm. is that something i mean i understand like i'm very thankful for my mom but i feel like there's a sense where sometimes she needs help and she can't ask for the help mm. and i'm more than okay to give her the help yeah. but i mean like if it came to like my kids i under i i would honestly want to give them like the world yeah um and i understand like school is important it's not for everybody i understand that for sure but i feel like if you're just being lazy then you know what i'm saying yeah but i would want to push them and i would try to give them everything that i can help with in a sense yeah. like okay you want to stay home and live with me like that's fine especially in california rent is not <laughs> that cheap. Shit ain't cheap buying a house is not cheap like go figure that shit out man because yeah but it i think like in that aspect there's a lot of dudes and a lot of people out mm -hmm. there social media is a monster regardless oh, of how 100%. how it's played out like people brag about trips cars etc possessions it and then at the end of the day, they don't have major bills mm -hmm. in that aspect. No, yeah. Like, obviously, I know you through through the primos, through through all them. Not one of them that I've met has ever been like, um, how do you say it? Like, has just asked for things and not doing anything in return. Like, no, yeah. they all work their asses off. They all have possessions, but <laughs> there's a reason why that. But it's they come from how you're saying they come from. A family. I come from a family. You you come from your like that. Your our parents are just there to help us. Oh, yeah, it's a they'll, blessing. They'll let us learn. Oh yeah. <laughs> they'll they'll let they'll oh, they'll yeah. let us have it. But at the end of the day, like hey, you know how you said, I'm not gonna allow you to go through what I went through. Mm -hmm. If you choose that way, like I think, if you choose that way, well, I'm still your your dad. Like come, yeah. you'll come back when you learn. No, yeah. We'll still do. We'll we'll. We'll do it again and we'll do it a different way. But, uh -huh. you know, I think now with s social media, this generation, everything is just. It's different. It's completely different. You can have these conversations. Yeah. If you try to have these conversations about where you came from or why do you do this or why do you do that? Like, they're so, you know, I would say ignorant and just self. Like, they don't want to listen. But yet they'll go complain two days later to oh, somebody yeah. else about it why shit isn't sense. popping off. It doesn't make any sense, but. That's so an important question. Someone mentioned that you have. We just talked about social media is a big monster, yeah, but someone mentioned you have a big social media following. I do. It's like my little secret. What's uh? What's the number on the more. following? Throw that out first. Um, I have twenty three thousand followers. Twenty. Yeah, it used to be more, but. I haven't been active on it, so it went down a lot. But it used to be like thirty thousand, yeah. But it went down. But yeah, that's my little secret. What's the secret, though? <laughs> Why do you have that much following? What's it was? Uh, I was okay, mind you. I started this account when I was in sixth grade. So okay, that's two thousand nine. Okay, mind you that. So remember that. It's for Justin Bieber. <laughs> She's a believer. Ooh. A believer. <laughs> yep, that's why. So, like, what did? How did it get that far? Like, 
Uh, okay. Have so you started this? What is junior high? No, in middle school. Middle. It, yeah. Well, yeah. Middle yeah, school, junior yeah. high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like high school. Too much then. alcohol. No, it's, yeah. it's already gone. It's um, you started this in middle school. You, I think at that point you're just like post here and there, get a couple likes, but. Oh no! Yeah, and I would get like bullied to have Twitter back then. Like it's a Twitter. Um, I was like bullied by my friends. They would be like, "Why do you have Twitter? Like that's for like celebrities only. Like there's no mm. purpose. Like Twitter now is a thing. Yeah. You know, like." You go on it. Watch people, the news. Like, how do you not? <laughs> yeah, that's your newspaper for the day. Yeah. And that's where you, like, go on there when you need a laugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But back then, Twitter was not like that. And I just had it just to have it, you know? But I, my friends would be like, it's so stupid. You have a Twitter. Like, I can't believe you're on Twitter. Shutting down. Where yeah. are those friends at? They're still around? I talk to them. <laughs> yeah. That's but right. It's fine. Gotta cut them off. <laughs> exactly. Gotta cut them off. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean... Back then, it was just like I would tweet random stuff, like, mm-hmm. and I'm I wouldn't even want to go back to those tweets because I'm sure they're just like cringy. But I'd be like, okay, like walking to like third period, like just <laughs> random. And then obviously Justin Bieber had a Twitter back then, so yeah. I would always tweet him. So he was my first follower on that Twitter. Oh, sh- my very first follower. And it was just like different back then because he wasn't that big that like how he is now. Back when like the baby song came out. No, out. yeah, no, before that. Before that, before Jesus. that, when he had like his YouTube videos up and like Usher was just signing him. Like, so you were a believer. Oh, back I was a then. believer, believer back then. Yeah, and then obviously it grew because he's tweeted me a couple times. He's crashed my prom, my high school prom. He crashed it. Yeah, so there's just. Yeah. Primo, this is this is he true, knows. Primo. <laughs> you were there? He knows. No, you weren't I told there. Him, yeah. Man. Just this close, Primo. You would have met just we would have been at just me with party right now. <laughs> no set. damn, so he cried. Yeah. And were you like BFFs with him right there or what? Um no, I wasn't. I mean, the whole thing how it went down, okay, so people think that he came to our high school, but it wasn't it. Like, our prom was in the Jim Henson, like, recording studio in, like, Hollywood, oh. and there's a recording studio in there. Mm. So that's where he was recording his music or whatever. Yeah. And um, I was just chilling in the back with my friends. We needed a breather. And then we saw Haley. This oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley, yeah. his wife now. Um, she was there with Bella Hadid. They were there. And I was freaking out because I was like, wait, what? What's happening? What's happening? I was yeah. like, Justin has to be here because I know like Justin and Haley like talked or whatever. I don't know the situation. But um, I was like telling my friends, I was like, Justin's here. Like, I just know that he has to be here. Like, what other reason would Haley and yeah. Bella Hadid be here? Um, and next thing you know, yeah, he comes walking down the hallway. There's like a hall before you go on to like the dance floor. And he came through. He came up and we were like the first ones like in the hallway before he like walked out and he came up to like me and my three friends and my friend was like freaking out, <laughs> like freaking couldn't, out, like couldn't, fangirl, couldn't hold it up together. Yeah. Fangirl. And I was so annoyed because I'm like, what celebrity wants to be like super fangirl? Like she was like hyperventilating and I'm just like, dude, just like, please chill. Yeah. And then he's like, I just, I'm just here to turn up. And then we're just like, all right, like. So we like walked him to the dance floor and then that's when shit just went crazy. He was being like tossed and just a whole bunch of stuff. And prom was over. Toss that guy. Prom was over at 10 p.m. because of him. Oh, sh- yeah. And then TMZ early. was like interviewing people. It was it was a whole like crazy thing. Oh, and that's how it is from there. From there. Yeah, because I tweeted and then he's retweeted me and just like there was a, there's a lot of believers out there. Yeah. So just following and just tweeting like stuff about him, you get a big following because of it. So have that platform that you have, did you use that in any sort of way or have you used it in any sort of way? Oh yeah. I mean I would I mean I would tweet like twenty four seven. Like Twitter was like my diary and even more like yeah. everything and anything would be like Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Um wow. but obviously like I'm not necessarily like on that account as much now. Like yeah. I'm also doing my life and like living my life as much as I love Justin Bieber. I can't, <laughs> I can't be on there 24 <laughs> seven. And yeah. it's just like, a, it was a part of like growing up, you know, like you would come home from school. Like it would be just like my space. You'd go on, yeah, you come home sure. from school, you're on my space. I would come home, just go on Twitter and then just do my thing. And 
I would get retweets on retweets and just followers. Like, I really don't know why it got so big. Um, my friends, they had even more, like 45,000. Like, it was insane. Oh, like, wow. it's insane. Wow. It's a huge monster, like you said that it is. Yeah. It, it, the reason why, like, I say, like, it's a huge monster, it, not only because, like, the trends, right? Like, you can post one thing and boom, blows up. Mm -hmm. But the next thing that you do is it doesn't blow up or it doesn't get that much yeah. attraction. You got to go with the trends, like like I just said. But like what you just said right now, like you haven't you've been doing your own thing and stuff. And the reason I ask, like if you used it in a different way, because like the other girl we had, Jackie, she's mm -hmm. obviously like her TikTok blew up mm -hmm. and shot that message, ended up getting her on. And now we are teaming up because she's helping me with the high school. And, like, uh, she's part of a company movement called The Cause. And, and they're doing, wow. like, they raise money to, like, how, I don't know if you heard, like, Acom, what he does in the third world countries. So that's He's part. doing great things. Yeah. So that's part of, like, how they do it. They put water in, in yeah. certain areas, electricity, this whole movement. And obviously help out, like, the high school girls get recruited or mm -hmm. high school kids. So she connected me there, and now we're working on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, her platform now, from everything she's had, she's switching it up to basically... Make a change. Make a change, yeah. Like motivation, self-love, yeah. attention. It's not just boy stories and st and relationship cliche things. Type of now it's loving yourself, being positive, the outlook. And I think that's just what is... Uh, not i would it sounds weird but it's what's in right now like really caring about yeah. who you are how you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis yeah like starting i didn't start it but i continued that question there like one through ten what are you it's really like playing effect with a lot of people a lot of people out there like you just said like you went from middle school blowing up on twitter yeah. your family coming over here at three years old continuing school because like you're trying to help out you know you have a reason to continue and find your way yeah how has that played effect on you like today right now like all this happening or that went on i just i don't know have I you ever like looked back or have you ever had a moment like just kind of like you need to settle in or think about what's happening oh no yeah i mean i feel like life goes by so fast sometimes and yep. we get caught up on like day-to-day -day things and we let like the little things get to us and just like life is literally just moving yeah and also the world expects you to move so fast too like you need to know what you want to do what you where are you going to live in the next couple of like your income like there's so much that life like throws on to you so i feel yeah. like yeah obviously growing up it was like like, Twitter did change me. Like, Justin Bieber's believers, they changed me, whatever. Um, but I guess it was just, like, a part of, like, every day. Like, that would be, like, my venting space. And I knew yeah. that I had friends or whatever. Like, it made you connect with people around you. Like, you felt like you had people there for you, in a sense. Yeah. Um, and just, I don't know. I feel like the thing that I do regret is that using it to a better, like, mm. in a sense. You know, like to make a change in a sense, because yeah. now you're telling me about um, your friend that was on the podcast yeah. and stuff to make a change. I wish I knew that back then, like I could use my voice and my following to make a change in a sense. But I was I was in high school, like at the same time, like I didn't oh, yeah. really know any better, you know, like obviously now I do have the followings and everything, but it's not the same like how it used to be just because yeah. people also move on. Like yeah. you can't just be like infatuated on a celebrity and then you know so i do regret not trying to make a change back then yeah but also i feel like i was following people where they would like tweet that they're depressed you know and i would just like dm them like hey like i know i don't know you personally but like i hope you're having a good day like i'm here to talk like yeah that sense and is that a that's actually dope because you know what you just said about regretting like it's just Time I think, flies by fast. Yeah, like you were, you were young. Yeah. You were, I mean, you're still young, but at that point, like we're all still maturing. We're all still growing up. We're all still learning about yeah. ourselves. I have, I've said it, and I've, other people have said it also. If I have the the same mentality as I have now, back then, oh yeah, oh, 
we would have been in a whole different Things scenario. Different. But I think that's the beautiful thing about growing up because you really do get wiser yeah you know like if you were to tell me the things that i know now back when i was in high school i'd be like there's no way (laughs) yeah and are you like now like an are you an open book like if people reach out to you if you see certain like yeah do you still do that same i think i'm a pretty open person like like let's say i just meet you on the street i'm not going to be the one to be like so I was Twitter famous. Like, this is my (laughs) life. I came here when I was three. I feel like, for me personally, I feel like that person needs to open up and then I'll open up to you. Yeah. I'm not just, like, walking around, like, telling everybody, like, my life story. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, what's, like, uh, let's say, what's your plan or your, one of your goals that you're trying to accomplish in, in a year, two years, three years, like, besides, like, being a nurse? Um, well, obviously growing like mentally, Mm. I feel like I, I let fear hold me back from so much and I hate it. Talk about that. Like, I hate, like, obviously your mind is very strong. Yeah. Already 25. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Um, I feel like your mind has a lot of like influence on what you do and what you think. And I feel like, um, I've let fear stop me from doing a lot of things and that should not be the thing like in a work aspect like career, wise, a career wise yeah. okay because i went to a trade school so trade school is a lot faster like an accelerated program for nursing and um i finished it like what a year two years ago and i still haven't taken my test for it like i could be working in the field right now and making 30 to 35 dollars an hour but why haven't i taken it it's because i'm literally letting fear take control of me like I feel like, okay, I fail it. Like I'm a failure. Yeah. And I don't want, I think it's, I don't want to let my mom down. I don't want to let the people around me down that it stops me. And I hate that I let fear kind of control me in a sense. So that is something that I'm kind of like learning. Do you feel like you have that support around you? I do, but I, I don't know. I feel like I, I hold a lot of stuff in where I, I Mm. want, I always want to be the stronger person. I don't like, I'm a very sensitive person, like my boyfriend knows this. Um, I'm a very sensitive person, but I don't like asking for help. But I mm. think I get that from my mom because she doesn't like to ask people for help. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm like stuck and I don't know what to do, like I know I could get the support, but at the same time, I n- don't. Do you feel that that's not like a norm, opening up the way you need one should? I like that's one of the things about this podcast and I have it like on the bio it's the conversations you need to have and the conversations yeah. you need to listen to oh yeah like, I mean I think my point is I've the way that I've grown up is yeah. to kind of keep things to yourself in a sense because like growing up like my dad like beat up my mom mm. so I was kind of like stuck in a place where it's just like you say something and it's just kind of like shut up like we're dealing with it Uh, so hold your feelings like to yourself yeah let the adults kind of like you know like deal with it it. and you're just a kid in a sense like what are you gonna do but you're not a kid now oh yeah i'm not a kid now but things are different now too so that's where i feel like i've grown up to just keep a lot of things in and my opinion doesn't really matter but also it's it's taking it but it matters but it matters or like reason why this this whole thing and reason why I'm like shooting you shooting you on this like mm-hmm. there is probably what throw a number two to ten girls out there um oh, we'll cut it we'll be right back all right we're gonna start right. this second part with a new guest my primo what's your name primo my name is Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take some tequila Cheers. to get Isaac ready for this one. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe it's out. Actually very smooth. It's very smooth. Uh, Surprisingly. <laughs> Compared to like tequila. the other tequila. You better yeah. tell Kuko that it was smooth. No, no tequila. Oh, wait. You can't tell Kuko this has happened because he's going to. He's not going to believe me and he's going to say tequila. Is. <laughs> so. Second part, we're ready. This is going. Tequila is in. Flowing. 
who are you? How how is this happening? Tell tell the audience, primo. Well, I mean, I'm Isaac. I've known you for a while, a while, a little while. <laughs> Cousins at this point. Um, how long though? It's a while. Man. Well, what? Well, since high school. Yeah. Well, were, when I was a freshman, you yeah. were what? What? This is what Junior? like I I tell John. High school. Only reason I knew about you guys is because there was a mob of kids walking down the street. Yeah, that's true. So that's after that, it was in school, just seeing them all together, like, damn, yeah. who are they? <laughs> but I really think, like, I think now, after high school, we yeah, got... primos, primos, it was like two, three years after. Yeah. Because it wasn't that. until we started going to the gym with John. After that, it was. Yeah, and then he would, yeah, you guys started going to the gym and stuff, and then he started, like, bringing you more around. And yeah. Like, yeah. I know this, like, I. It was, we went to high school, do school. It was like, life changing. And I'd be like, yo, what's yeah. up with this? These, are, these are the primos, you know? And then you and Chito came around, and so it's yeah. like, but Chito legit has always been. <laughs> He's been down the street. Exactly. <laughs> He's been with my cousin. He, he, I, he, I don't anyway, know about that one. Anyways, back to you, primo. Exactly, yeah. This is your time. Yeah. This is so, your guys' time. Yeah, we met in, we were friends since high school, and after that, primo. So who, how does, so. Like, She's here because I know her because of you. Because of me, yes. So are you for the people who are gonna watch this and maybe the first part the first part they're like, man, let's throw some shots, but nope. You're the man. What's up? He's the reason yeah. why. He's the reason why. This I'm is this is a three years three yeah. years in. Almost three, three years, years yeah. Well How? yeah, like she said, we've been talking probably I slid in your DMs like what, 2016? November of 2016? Yeah, November around there? 16. Around my birthday. Mm. Um, so, like she said, yeah, we were off and on for a while, and then mostly because of me, because I'm a dumbass. And then I got my head straight and realized. Do you uh, agree or not agree, Stephanie? Oh, 100% she agrees. 100%. So, 100%. But this was three years ago. What uh, you just said, you're a dumbass. As a guy, if you admit you're wrong, you're you're doing something right. In a way. In a way, right? Like at, at, at least you're admitting yeah. and, and acknowledging it. But the good thing about me is I I admit my wrongs. So but I have a lot. So of if he, so, since he messed up, how are you guys still going on three years? I like I mean, not like all right, you don't count this. No, like how did you guys still? How are you guys still here together after whatever you guys have? I personally think it's not about giving up mm. because I feel like relationships nowadays, it's so fast to give up and yeah. you have to remember like we're imperfect people. We make mistakes or whatever. And also like, don't be stupid either. Like if you're yeah. getting taken advantage of, yeah, like, just leave the situation, be stupid, but it's just not giving up the instant that something goes wrong. Just yeah. try to like communicate it through and you know, if you really do love that person, you stick through that person. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good thing that we both know that we're, we yeah, both have perfect. our issues, that we're both, I get in a way, growing together, but also growing as Facts. individuals. Yeah. yeah. Like, I have my humongous fucking issues. She has her little flaws, issues, but I think going together as a couple, you know, putting each other on check or like, Hey, like work on this or you know what I mean? Like not yeah. trying to change each other, but trying to work on each other individually. For I think sure. that helps a lot. Like, oh, like I said, admitting my wrongs, admit when I fuck up, like even if it's the smallest things in the world, yeah. I think that's very important in a relationship. And we're not the best at communicating a <laughs> lot of times, but, but it's mostly my we try. Fault, I'm not good at but I mean, like that's, that's, I think that is literally a normal slash common issue because I mean, I have it with with Brittany. Same thing. Like yeah. when I don't want to talk, and I I know it's, it's not okay to talk because it's not going the right way, or it won't end up the right way. Boom! Let's let's step away from yeah. the situation. I I just it's not relationship, but just had an incident with one of the clients we had, and he was like going at it with my dad, like, "Hey, listen to me. This is this," and I got on the phone, and same. It, it kept going that same way. And he's our client. Mm -hmm. And like the beauty of being in my dad's business, like we get to set the tone of what's enough, yeah. what's too much. And it was literally telling him, I quote me like, this was literally, Hey, I'm going to stop here. This isn't going the way it should be. Yeah. Things are about to be said that they shouldn't be said. Yeah. You're a person. I'm a person. You're a man. I'm a man. We're going to respect that right yeah. now. 
Let's take a breather. Let's take a breather. This is our answer. This is our solution. If you agree or you don't agree, you can email me because the next time we have a conversation, I don't want it to go this way. Exactly, yeah. And I think that, like, only reason I bring it up is just because in a relationship, everybody has at one point had one or is in one. The communication skills that we all preach, I mean, I am perfect. I am yeah. probably one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at Brittany, she's just she's like, like mm-hmm. she's like, you talk about she's this mother. This? She, she's she's this like, time. talk about this mother. <laughs> she's but notes. I sure yeah. will write yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna tell you about this right now, but <laughs> we're gonna come right. Back. <laughs> but it's it, different episode. Different yeah. episode. You know, we're gonna run it back with Brittany. Tell her how she really feels. Can't wait for that episode. <laughs> no, really, no. <laughs> Shit, should we all go now? <laughs> you guys got space in your car because well, I think I got to go. Uh, it was a fun time. So yep. yeah. um, Thank you. I think they need my help <laughs> to go over there. But we, I don't think a lot of people and a lot of people don't want to admit when they are actually wrong. Yeah. And how you said, you never give up. I think that phrase for a lot of people get gets out played too much. Yeah, you said, it's very, it's very yeah. uh, you know, everyone says it, but it's like, obviously back it up you know what i mean like yeah. if you're gonna say never give up like legit like yeah keep yeah. but there's a mean? limit right like there's oh, oh no 100 percent. yeah yeah but that's what i'm saying like there's people that play that out and there's no limits like no obviously never give up but <laughs> no. it's like if you if, it, if you gotta go you gotta you go you gotta give up i mean yeah you gotta go you gotta go exactly man so three years this was it a life changing both of you guys coming from one side to the other I think so because in these past three years, I've gone through probably the worst times of my life. And mm. if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't. Really? I, I don't know where I'd be. See, you know see what this mean? is what I'm just talking about earlier. Like, I see you guys at the family events and, yeah. bro, it's yeah. love all day. Yeah. And really getting to know who you are and what's really happening. Yeah. Bro, we don't talk about, group. like, yeah, you yeah. know, we're going to put this out. And I would just tell you, actually, the dudes that worked on our AC, they're like, oh, like, what do you do? And I was like, look, I have this. Oh, what's your point? Like, da, da, da. I'm like, look, us as men, first of all, we never talk about what's happening with us. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's what true. we're trying to do here is we're trying to bring this to light. Like, make this, make this comfortable. Like, I put all, we put suicide on there. I put mental healthness. I put depression on there. I put everything yeah. I possibly can that can make me weak out there. So at one point, if anybody decides to like tell me something, make fun of me, well, why you you can't do that because yeah. I already put it out there. Yeah, and this I feel is like out for there. Men, it's like men can't have feelings. Men can't, you know, share emotion. If not, that makes them weak. Or weak. weak, and it's it's not the sense because yeah. guys also go through things that. You know, so do, like, so was that was that you? Is a, that you? Um, I mean, with her, I feel like I'm overall in a way expressive about my feelings. It's just a lot of times I'm not, and mm. I think lately I've come to a realization that I do need, in a way, some help. Speak about it. Like some therapy. You know what I mean? Like, because mm. it's a, I've this year has been a, <laughs> been a trip. It's a it's yeah. been a fucking it's been crazy. You know what I mean? Like. Oh. It's, I've just been going through a lot. Um, so I just, I know I need help. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know I need but therapy, you know, someone to talk to in a way. But you acknowledge it's not like I can't it, talk to her. But, but you acknowledge it. Like you really, yeah. you know, hopefully after this episode or, you know, just on the way home, like you really, one, ourselves, like me, myself, early in this week, I have my moments, but it's yeah. just, we're doing so much and we're at 100 miles an hour. So at one point, the car is going to end up just exactly. giving right. up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to re refuel it once again, or you got to re redefine all the little components so we can never go at it. So if somebody says 100 miles an hour, 24-7, this is this. It's like, it's come to realization, like, it's not always 100 miles an hour. Yeah, We can go 100 miles an hour for a couple of days, a week, excuse me, maybe a month. But how you said, gotcha. you gotta you gotta refuel, because yeah, right. you know you guys we're we're having you guys here as, as a couple, and uh, me, Brittany, as like it's the same way. Like, there's days where 
shit, you're running on E, and the only person you can take it out on is yeah. is the one that's right exactly. right next to you. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And I feel like that right now, that's my biggest problem. Yeah, like, I'm mentally, in a way, going through my own things that I don't feel comfortable explaining to anybody else. So I feel like, in a way, I take out on her. So is and that that's not okay? Is so. that something hard for you to like coming from where you're coming from? Is that something hard for you to put out there or to ask for that type of help? Not like ask for help from like say, uh, family or friends, like or? this, like just the closest people you trust. Like it's it's not hard because I have I have I do we do have our close friends. I have one specific best friend. You know he's like my brother. Yeah. Um, I speak to him about you know everything. recently everything. Like me and him, you know we talk about a lot. But I feel like I'm at the point where I do might need professional help mm. in a way to get just get more of an insight of what's going on. Like I'm not. I do, I'm awareness or mental health and stuff, yeah. but I don't, I'm not depressive, I'm not suicidal, but I I think it's good that I know I do need help yeah. because I know something's wrong in my head. I'm usually a sensitive, very sensitive person, Yeah. but lately it's been different. I haven't been with some situations, so I, I feel like there is something yeah. kind of, so not would, wrong, but something. And wrong. have you traced that back? Like one for one to acknowledge you've, you always got to look back. I look back on mine, and for me, it's very clear and very obvious for myself, and I know it. It's like my grandpa's passing. Like, yeah. that's – I. It that was <laughs> in January. Still to this day, yeah. it's the same story for me. But but I know where it's at. I know where it's coming yeah. from. And I I haven't gone up up north in, since then, but it's just like all that is just biting into me. But I know where it's coming from, and yeah. – and me being naive, I still use that in my way to like, all right, this is why I'm this, and this, this is why I'll be why, like yeah. this for why. Yeah. But like, have you as a as a person, not a man, not a female, as a person, figured out the root, right? figured out or traced back where this is coming from? I'm. I mean, I think right now I'm trying to. I've just like you, um, and I want to say, June, July, August, September, October, mm -hmm. last three. August, last September, I lost my grandma. Mm. Last August, I lost my grandpa. Last Oof. October, I lost my aunt. That All my, my my dad's side of the family. Um, my grand my grandparents, both of those grandparents, they took care of me when I was ki a kid. Um, I was closer to them than probably my other grandparents. Yeah, like, you know, my it happens. My yeah, cousin yeah. side, the one that you know. Um, so those past scenes I feel like should have hit me this is what I'm saying like I'm not I don't feel like mentally okay because I feel like those should have affected me in a way in a way but I feel like it hasn't like yeah. I haven't been able to like cry about it or grieve you know what I mean yeah. so I feel like something's wrong there yeah but then I also think it's either that or it could stem back even further a little bit a couple years from my parents divorce so I'm not sure which one it is I'm not sure what you're I'm still trying to with. figure it yeah, out so I think that's why I need professional help because I want to figure out what it is exactly I'm yeah. going through or what's the root and why is it that yeah. I'm barely feeling it right now. So, do, so do you think this is like, uh, something that's normalized in guys or people our age? Like you guys are, you're 23, 23 24, 24, you're about to be 24 also, right? Yeah. 25. We ain't that old anymore. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't that old. Don't worry about it. But uh, I think now, day, day and age, like, the younger generation that's coming up out of high school, they're more mentally out there, like, emotionally out there. Like, it's put out there. Mm -hmm. And and with the whole COVID, all, everything that happened, like, that suicide prevent, like, out through the roof. Yeah. But our generation, and our, we're the same generation, our generation, but our time we're how Stephanie just said earlier, like we're one of those people that I don't, I'm not going to talk about it. I don't need to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like our, our generation's kind of fucked at that point. Like, <laughs> if you, yeah. if, if you're a man F, and yeah. you talk about your feelings, you're like, like what? Yeah, like why are you yeah. like a little girl? If you're talking, yeah. About like why feelings, are you like, but... who are you? Like, why are you saying shit? Yeah, like, but it, I, that shit in. it's but just it's so, like, it's not sure how it should be. It's so dope. Like who you have around you really is there for you. Like that's why, yeah. you know, I stuck with, with John and Ernie for the, since, we started because like John was one of those that I just had you to tell like, bro, I'm not okay. Like you mind if we go eat tomorrow? Yeah. 
Damn, in a heartbeat. And same thing, like, you know, now that we have our kid and everything, like, the our family was, we came back from Cancun. My family was up north. Hers was just getting back settled in. And we, you know, his mom invited us to come over. He invited us, excuse me, to come over. It's like, what more do you you need when you have yeah. a family outside of your own exactly. family? But, uh, you know, s- switching gears, what do you do, Primo, for work? Um, uh, so I, right now I'm at, I work at FedEx. Mm. I used to be a driver. I used to deliver yeah. packages and shit with my cousins. Yeah. But now, um, wait, did you that. get your truck dr- robbed? No. no. <laughs> that I did not do. No, that was not So me. he, your packages are safe. He did my, not get yes, the truck robbed. Yes. But right now I'm He's at the, good driver yes, on time and earlier. <laughs> um, but right now I'm at the office. You know, mm, moving up. Moving out. Nah. Uh, not like office office. Like, yeah, yeah. But not like, but um, FedEx office. It's like, it's a good job, obviously, full time. But it's not where I want to be. Obviously, I have my own goals. I have my own. Talk about that. Um. Okay, so backtrack. I went to college. I went to school for fashion design. So with col- through college, I learned how to make clothes, design clothes from scratch. Learn how to sew. My grandma, rest in peace, gave me my first sewing machine. So I learned how to. So, you know what I mean? I closed from scratch. I made her skirt, the one that she's wearing right now. Oh, um, shit. He, we branding right now. Just, Hell you know, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's always been, in a way, my passion. But mm. so it brings back to that. I went to school. I was almost done. My parents got divorced. Stop. My dad left. So I had to be like, now I got to work. Oh, I dropped out of school. Me and my brother dropped out of school. We had to get full-time jobs. So that's... Right now, I'm kind of still stuck in limbo, but I'm still kind of like trying to f- find my way back to design in any way, shape, or form. I'm also uh-huh. starting to realize fashion design, fucking whatever, it's hard to get a job. So I'm, I'm trying to stick to design in a way. So I'm starting to try to get into graphic design, mm. something creative in a way, at least doing something creative. We need you here, Primo. We need you here. Let me know. Let me know. The, the believers <laughs> need you here, too. <laughs> But it, but that, people. bro, that's yeah. I, it that blows my mind. Like from the years knowing you, that I can really know that it's a different side. It's a different yeah. side of Isaac. Yeah. Is it right now? We're gonna see him and be like, bro, do I look good? Do I dress good? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> if you need a jacket, he's got you. Hey, yeah. you better get extra extra uh, cloth because I'm a big man, bro. I got a lot. <laughs> Come I got on, lot. you gotta you gotta think about me and the big boys. Like we we yeah. good. But so your plan is to get back to your passion yeah, in one way, shape, or form. Yeah. Do you have a time frame for that? I don't like to put a time frame on myself because if I don't meet it, I'm gonna probably, you know. That's but do, do yeah. you think about putting it on and fast forwarding yourself? Like you're adding pressure. Like, like this is what I really want to do every day that I get up. Instead yeah. of like how you said, you have a set. Pay your pay is great. Your yeah. pay is good. Pays whatever it pays for you, and it keeps you fine. But to wake up motivated, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the whole thing. Like waking up motivated to, it's a different type to of drive. Con- yes, to continue. Yeah. Like you can get up, be like, I'm doing what I really effing want. This is this is me. This is Isaac. Yeah. Like imagine at to that point. You know what I'm saying? Like really. Putting that on 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 you and on your back, like this is this is my goal. This is what I need to do. This is my product. This is my idea. Like you just said, that's that's you. Yeah. You you are able and capable of doing that, so no one can set the price but yourself. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like you I just know. seen someone just put like, are you paying me for um, for the time that I spent or the time that I spent learning? Okay. It's like I don't, I don't, I don't know what you spent learning. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what you had to go through, like nursing and all. Like yeah. we didn't, we didn't have no idea. Yeah. But like fashion, like everybody needs clothes. Oh yeah. But yep. no one has an Isaac touch. Yeah. Right. The it, knowledge you have to sew or like work a machine or like do your thing, like yeah, it's a different type of thing, you know. Yeah. That I think it, that's just the. That's just the it part, like remembering and finding why. Like again, I'm a big dude on. I don't know if you guys listen to 
other podcasts or Steve, like different uh, mm. famous people, quote unquote. But like Steve Harvey, I listen to him every time I get the chance. <laughs> Bro, and he says, my passion will pave the way for me. Wow. And it's just, like, he talks about living, going broke two times, divorced two times, mm -hmm. losing everything, mm -hmm. um, to where he only had, he did one com comedy show to get paid 50 bucks, did a second one to get paid another 100 bucks to get to to New York to mm -hmm. go do the big show to where he got signed. And oh, wow. He was he was living out of his car. It's his passion, Damn. the one that yeah. motivated. Different day and age, strong, right? Yeah. Right now, everything is yeah. inflam. It's expensive as shit. Yeah. But it's possible. It is possible to really better yourself. Like yeah, you know, being a nurse, you know, you're gonna be a fashion designer, mm -hmm. and that's just it, right? Like yeah. you really telling yourself like the affirmation, I'm gonna be, mm -hmm. I have to be, right? Mm -hmm. Like. You know, again, we have the audience of people our age and younger. Mm -hmm. So we're really talking to about people, talking to people that are younger than us, trying to find that answer. So, like, yeah. what what answer would you give somebody that gives you that question? I would say just do what makes you happy. Mm. If that means construction, if that means doing something that's not normalized. Yeah. Like when I was, and before I even graduated from high school, I thought about fashion. You know what I mean? And that wasn't back then. It was like, oh, you're into clothes. That's kind of yeah. But you guys have a feminine, unique style. You, know what I mean? you guys oh, have a you. unique style, my guy. I'm, I'm wearing plain shit today. <laughs> um, but yeah, back then, I feel like if I were to bring up like, oh, I kind of want to get into fashion, but like, what? Like, you're not a girl. Why are you doing that? That's yeah. Weird. So it's weird, exactly. So I feel like now it's getting more normalized, like other crazy things. So if a kid right now wants to fucking make YouTube videos for a living. Do it. You can yeah. make money doing that. If a kid wants to pursue fashion, fucking do it. You can make yeah. money off of it. Do what makes you happy at the end of the day. We said it no, with obviously the girls last time. People will make fun of you or talk you down no when what? they know they're not capable of doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell you, dude, fashion, don't do that. Why? <laughs> I don't know fashion. Yeah. I don't know how to make shit. I don't know how. That's a whole different. But how do those people get to that position by not listening to yeah, exactly. the and negative it's outside? Also, the fact we're we're all individual. It's who it makes us who we are. Yeah. No person is the same. Like yeah, same interests, but we all live different lives. We all have different interests. Yeah. Like, yeah. You will never meet a person like you because you are original. You know, like. You yeah. really are. There's nobody like you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you like fashion. I like fashion. I like Justin Bieber. You like Justin Bieber. But <laughs> it's not. You know what I'm Call saying? That. Like we all have like different. Yeah. I think that's who it makes us us. You know? So can I ask you guys an important question? What makes your group of friends really special? <laughs> I'd I like, love our group of like, friends. Yeah. Like I I and I, I really I'm, this. I'm really I interested so. in in. Asking that because I see you guys' posts, I see when yes. you guys hang out, and it's it's a movie. Oh, no, I think yeah. I think with our friends, <laughs> so we have a lot of like really beautiful, like open friends. All of our most of our friends are very LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I said that the right way. Right. You know, in that way, um, they're very it's just open. They're, you know, they're what I mean? loving. Like, we just there's just love all around, no matter what. Like obviously we have our fights, but I think our friends, our group of friends, is more of an escape like we we literally for any single party we have a theme we we dress up we yeah fall off, right? for no reason yeah. for, for no, no reason. reason one day we're like hey we're gonna sleep over at blah blah blah's house we're gonna have a party and then tonight's theme is fucking wigs wigs i bought a fucking wig from amazon <laughs> boom we partying up in wigs like the next theme we have coming up is lady gaga oh, yeah. everybody's dressing up lady gaga theme that's next month yeah, like in it's Mexico, always we're different. Gonna do it in Rosarito. Can Bradley different. Cooper come by? <laughs> that's that's gonna be me. We're doing we're doing Lady Gaga and A Star, Star is Born. Is born. Ooh, yeah, yeah. record it, bro, because I, I was just I was just watching that movie yesterday. Yeah, but um, no, yeah, we our our friends are, I think, family in a way. Like, no, yeah, we have a group chat. We talk every single day. It's 
happy Friday. Love all of you guys. Happy Monday. Mm. Let's push through this week. Like it's that's how we are. You it, know what it, I mean? It's like, your. We're a very close knit family. And I'm very thankful for him because he introduced me to his friends, mm. and I would have never known them if it wasn't because of yeah. him. And I truly like they are my best friends. Like it doesn't matter who you are, what you go through. At the end of the day, it's just like we are going to be present in the moment and just live life yeah and yeah. just have the best time that we possibly can and we do that every single time <laughs> every time we're up really? at four or five o'clock in the morning just living our life living yeah. life doing yeah. but that, so it's important who you have i think so you. yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah three we got a lot to say bro Thank that's you. this is what i love but you know before we we end on this one I'm glad we talked about that. I was just very curious, and I hope your friends see that, and oh, you know sure. they appreciate like I'll that. You guys appreciate it. them. Yeah. They're gonna watch it. You know, like that. I think almost in every video, I always shout out. You know, the Moras, John, their family, like you yeah. know all that. Everybody that's there, because outside of my internal like that, that is my next one. But it's important um, to have another family. important question: one one to ten, where are we at? Emotionally, mentally, financially. One to ten. One to ten. Yeah. Being honest. In what way? What do you mean? All of them. What's What's your number? Like rating all of like them. Like one, I one or? no one. I am done. I I can't do it no more. Ten. I am perfect. I don't need anything else. Wow. With everything in life right now. Everything. I'm gonna say it. Seven. Seven. Yes. Average. Yeah. Like a good. It's kind of hard. I want to say, okay, I, a six or seven. Six or seven because I'm thankful to be alive. I'm Ooh, thankful always. to just be able to, like, breathe and walk. And it's just a blessing. But there's obviously, like, hardships. Like, we all go through something, like, yeah. mentally, physically, where you can't really put a scale on that in a sense. I mean, if I were to put a scale on that, then it would be, like, a one. But because I am alive and I have, like, people around me that, like, love me and don't give up on me, even if I am imperfect or whatever, what I go through, I would rate it, like, in 7, 8. Yeah. Because that just makes the scale go a little bit higher if you're talking about that type of stuff. Yeah. Even, yeah. even though you guys talked about the hardships you have gone through and are going through, the number you guys gave yourselves, just to me personally, it just shows how I would say just tough, yeah. tough skin you guys have yeah. to continue. Yeah. But you gotta try at least. You gotta try. Yeah. Try and not give up, and it's all about love at the end of the day. Exactly. It really is. Focus on the positive. That's my 100%. huge motto. Yeah. Whenever we get into arguments, I'm just like, okay. Wait, what was that again? Repeat. When we get into arguments or we just have a hard no, the motto. time. What's the motto? Is it? What's the motto? Oh, what's, what's the, the motto? motto? What's the motto? Just focus on the positive. I know and the love. And the love at the end of the day. Mm. Because I feel like right now in the world, there's so much going on. Yeah. Realistically, like our government, what's going on? <laughs> gas the prices. Life. $5 for gas. Are you joking me? <laughs> so that's my motto. Focus yeah. on the positive. I know it's easier said than done, but there's always a positive. We're alive. We're breathing. Live Just life. Live always. Yeah. Live life. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I Cheers. poured you guys a shot, so you guys yeah. better. Cheers. Here it is. So, before we even end this, this amazing episode, let's talk about people around you. Do you guys think it's important to have, I would say, real people around you, people that love you, care for you? Mm -hmm. Are there for you regardless of what's happening or what you do or what you have? Yeah. Do you guys feel that that's important? I think 100% is important because, like, for example, with our group of friends, it's it's more of an escape. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what we're going through, obviously we have our own issues. But I think being with our friends, we're like, okay, we're going to leave that at the door. We're going to have a good time. We're going to, you know, just love them, love each other, love everything, you know, about us. I think, I think it's very important to just... Let yeah. loose and have fun at times. Do you guys have that around you? Oh, 100%. I, I, 100%, I think yeah. so. Which I'm very thankful for. Because like you said, like, an escape. Like, we all go through our stuff and we all, like, 
stressed out about work, stressed out about like life. And then mm-hmm. we meet up and it's just kind of like we shut that off because we're always very stressed, stressing about everything. Mm-hmm. But it's like stressing doesn't make anything for the future. Like it doesn't change the outcome of what's going to happen. So it's like, OK, we meet up together and it's that's kind of like behind your head and you're just like be present in the moment. Yeah. Love everybody whatever and just have a good time yeah you know just like truly enjoy life instead of being like oh my god i'm stressed about like whatever bills i have to pay or like i just had a hard week at work or like you know we all go through hard things and everything is inevitable so how how did you guys stay close and stay as friends you just said they're you know where they come from and stuff like that but how did you guys manage or how did that bond come about more than anything um i think staying together is really important with um like we have our group chat like i said we talk every day um birthdays for them are very big like every literally every year it's like okay what are we doing for your birthday what are we doing for your birthday what are we doing for your birthday we Mm. always make it a theme yeah so there's like i think there's like eight or ten of us in the chat that Mm. obviously we all have our birthdays so like every month there's a birthday. There's something. <laughs> we get an Airbnb. We yeah. do a fucking party here. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. we try to spend as much time as we can together because we all know we're a very close-knit family. You know what I mean? Like, we lose people. We've lost a couple of our friends, all of us as a group, but we've also gained people. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Think- so how do you guys see that? Like, losing people and gaining people? Because it happens. No, yeah. yeah. I think it's a part of life. I feel like sometimes people are in your life for a season hmm. and yeah. it teaches you a reason why they were in your life in a sense like personally i've lost friends like not in our friend group um where they've been like really good friends since i was like i don't know young yeah and then it's just like we grow up and it you know we see things differently you know it's just it happens it's part of it it, yeah. it really is and so. so would you say that transitions in like the way your family is or and stuff like that or is it still kind of different well i think it's different because i think family is that's blood yeah. like yeah. i feel like you're that's blood you can't really get rid of them <laughs> not rid of them but like yeah. oh you can i mean you, you can, can but you can kill I, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. yeah no uh the reason i say that like i I believe in the people you have around you and in your life, regardless if they're family, blood related or not. Like if if you need to cut them off, you need to. Like if they're bad for you, they're bad for you. It molds you you into the person that you know. The people like the saying, the popular saying, like "Show me who your friends are, and I'll show you who you are." Like I think that's a very like very popular saying, but very like you know what I'm saying. That's a that's a famous saying right there. Be, I mean, we've said that in this podcast probably like five, six times already, like yeah. in the different episodes. Mm-hmm. But it's because it's something that everybody already knows. Very true. few act upon it, but a lot of us already know, like, you know, people, again, people that listen to us, like they're coming out of high school or in college, still trying to go with that crowd or trend. Yeah. But it's yeah. just at one point, you're going to end up finding out, like, are your friends really good for your life or are they just holding you back because they don't want you to leave exactly. yeah. that trend, that circle? Yeah. You know, and it's part of life. Like if you're going to cut people off for your better tomorrow, if they're meant for you and if they support you, they'll be there. Yeah. If I think yeah. everything is happens for a reason. That's I truly a hundred percent. You can't control what, it's in the future, but if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it's not, then yeah. it'll hurt if you obviously have to cut ties with them. Like, personally, I've lost an ex-best friend. Like, we were best friends since middle school, sixth mm. grade. And once we, like, cut it off, it's just, like, different, like, perspective, you know? And yeah. sometimes it's just, like, it hurts. It's like a breakup. Like Yeah, literally. it really is. It's You're losing a family member that you've known your whole life, all yeah. your secrets, and your best friend, but... And it hurts, but sometimes it's just like it's not meant for them to be in your life right now, you know. And it, yeah, and people, yeah. you know, power above will take those people that oh, ain't yeah, meant to be exactly. in their mm-hmm. 
He'll take him out whenever the, he feels or he or she yeah. feels yeah. should be out. Mm-hmm. It, if you stick, if you choose to stick by them, that's on you. But you can't not. You can. We're in the in the day of age that if you complain about something, it is very easy to act upon and change it. Yeah. Work wise, friends wise, relationship wise. Mm-hmm. How you said, don't give up when shit hits the fan. If things are not. Yeah. In that to that extremity, yeah. but if things are into that extremity, why be there in something yeah, toxic? Life isn't a walk in the park, it really isn't. Mm, nope, no, nope. it's not. And I that's what I hate about social media. It's because, yeah, people post pictures like they're having grand time, ah. but it's like they don't post like when they're like heartbroken or like they're going through things like financially or like mentally. Like, obviously, who wants to see that? Yeah. You know, it's like we all go through our things individually, but I feel like we could all connect in some sort of way. Yeah. Because I think that that's just like the mental part. Like, our thing is to put it out there, but it's just, I think people on social media play play it out too much. Oh, yeah. Like, all right, I'm depressed. Again, maybe they are, maybe they, maybe they ain't, but they use it to where they can get away with with a lot of things they can okay. get away with hurting others they can get away with yeah you know what i mean but it's it's like why why play that out when there's literally people that are very oh, yeah. about it very are going through it mm-hmm. and we don't put it out there we don't put it to where hey guys i am sad this is why i'm gonna be a bitch today don't talk to me but i want you to talk to me because if you don't reach out then i'm this way yeah <laughs> like what do you like what do you mean like, you know, what do i do at that point Exactly. So that that's what I think there's still it's it's still trying to find its way or very be settled to where mental health for a lot of people is really taken serious oh, yeah. and not just as a joke to play it or use that card so you can get away with with murder basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and and it's tough with a lot of people, it's tough with with relationships, you know, relationships ain't easy. You know, they just ain't easy. <laughs> they ain't easy. Two imperfect people coming together. Two different worlds trying yeah. to make it one. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, just goals. Do you guys have a goal that you guys want to accomplish together at one point? Have you guys talked about that? Yeah, I mean, we always talk about it. I think the end goal is having a family, mm. having our own house, the mm. usual. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, being successful in our own careers. I always push her to be the best that she can be, and she pushes me the best I can be. Uh, so I feel like the end goal is to be who we want each other to be or ourselves to be. That we know together. each other can be. Yeah. Yes. Because I yeah. see his potential, and I try to... Yeah. It's crazy, you know, because you see their potential, but you, sometimes we don't we see our own. See exactly. own potential. Exactly. Yeah. And he always pushes me, like, just take your test. Yeah. You could easily pass yeah. it. If you fail it, all right, take it again. What What's the worst that's going to happen when you fail? You got to take it again? Exactly. So, look, I, I, a, lot yeah, of people, right. right. a lot of people don't know this, but when I took my test for pest control for when working with my dad, I failed one, two, four times <laughs> before I passed it. Are you serious? I knew everything. I knew what, what like, I knew how to work. I knew how to it's find the solution. I knew I am a... Again, this is why I don't go to school. I am a idiot to to study. I'm one of those that I'll I'll pass by the book, blah blah blah. Yeah. The day before the test, all right, I gotta learn this, 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 this. And it, it was so weird. And the reason why I want to tell this short story because I failed it once, thinking, all right, I already went to school, I should take it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Boom, failed it. Mm-hmm. All right, second, boom. I went to a six week course in Riverside. The next time I took that test, I failed it. One more time, because my dad was fed up with me. He was like, dude, if you're not serious about it, this is it. So I thought my test was like at 2.30. Ended up being it was at 2. So I had left Baldwin Park at 1.45. It was in Whittier at 2 o'clock. So at this, dude, I had my fucking charger downshifting. I was going through traffic. And I just ran in. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. So I know you're fine. Take your test. I ran through the questions because I hate taking – from people that say they take two hours to take a test, I'm like, bro, if you're there for two hours, 
there's something wrong. Yeah. So. But sometimes it happens. Though. Yeah. No. no. In in my eyes, in my eyes, if I take two hours, I'm gonna be fed up. I'm gonna be burnt out already because yeah. Yeah. my lack of attention. It, I have a short short fuse, so at that point I was like, all right, 45 minutes, boom, 120 questions done. I was like, fuck, I failed. I know it, but like the screen was weird. Like I was mm -hmm. like, I haven't seen this. Whatever. Went to the front because every time you turn in your test, both the The wind. The wind. The wind. Fontana wind. Is there a different type of wind? Yeah. Every time you take you take the test, it uh, it tell they tell you right away. Yeah. Hey, pass, or fail? pass. This is what you need to do next, or here set up your next appointment. So I was already ready for the set up the next appointment. I was like, <laughs> I've been through this. I was like, I'm done. You know the drill. Yeah, but again, this is like four times. This is the fifth time, and I turned it in, and they said, all you got to do, wait for your license in the mail. You are done. Wow. <laughs> set and oh, done. Yeah. I am wow. good. I am. Wow. It's over. And like that, that happiness, it wasn't my happiness, right? Because I was just like relieved I'm done. Yeah. But the happiness in my family. And my dad was, it's a different type you know, of, yeah, but like, yeah. again, he's, he's, I would say resembles like your mom, like never gave up, never, like he gave me that limit. Like, dude, this is it. Yeah. But once that was it, like he just said, all right, one more time, you need yeah. to pay attention. Duh, duh, duh. So now we're like, I'm at the point where I'm just going to study for, um, it's called the operating license, but it's basically to run the company. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's a whole different test. I'm like, Fuck, yeah, another one. But another five times. Yeah. Another five times. <laughs> Hopefully four, Primo. Hopefully four to make it happen. Maybe but three if you get lucky. Maybe. Maybe, three. maybe. But the point is, like, the worst, and, and it's just, like, if you want to take it as um, when you go to a bar, you're going to get at somebody, you shoot your shot. Same words as, as the girl Jackie. You shoot your shot. Mm -hmm. Worst shit that's going to happen, what do you guys tell you? No. You're going to say no. You move on, you do it yeah. again. That, that, that is it, right? Yeah, it's a different perspective. Yeah. It's a different perspective. It really is, and but it's the same thing. Same concept. Yeah, can, yeah. It, if you were to fail, if you were, not saying you are, you will pass. But again, you got to speak it into existence. Yeah. And, Keep trying. And if yeah. shit doesn't plan out, hey, I'm ready here. I'll do it again. Exactly. At least you're in the position to say, hey, I can do the, do the test. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going through fucking yeah. years of school exactly. to like... Man, I got five years left. I got this, though. By the time you're year three, you're like, fuck, do I still got this? Yeah. Year four, ah, almost there. Five, I'm here. Yeah. But you still got to take the test. So, again, that that's that's your line of field. I'm only saying it from the the response question. Like, if things don't plan out, yeah. it's just, I, you're there. It's good advice. It's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I think he has great advice, great stories. Just like the rest of the primos have great stories. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the people, your guys' people, that if you were to really ask them, like, dude, so let's have this conversation. It's just like, like after this, after today, after right now, I'm just like, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that I see you guys any less. I see you guys even more. Yeah. Okay. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because now it's just like, bro, you guys have a smile and yeah. there's a lot of shit you're still going through. Yeah. And you guys come in and just boom, we're we're ready to party, we're ready yeah. to do. But there's a lot of things we gotta take care of from Monday to set. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. tomorrow, Monday we go back to well, not this Monday, but yeah. we, you know Monday we, we still party. Monday, Monday yeah. we still party. We it's keep a going. Three day weekend. But you go back to, yeah. I need a reset. Yeah. So there's reality and kind of like this alternate universe where you kind of think something is different, but. Yeah, we all yeah. go through it. So what? Ad I want to end it perfect with your guys' words. What advice would you give to maybe yourself at 15 and somebody else yeah. that's younger coming up, maybe almost going through the same thing? Advice I would give to myself at 15? Or to people younger. Or to people younger. Just love. Think, like, th think about it this way. There, There's a lot of dudes... That you may not even know. Maybe Marcelino is looking out to you, my guy. Yeah. You know, all the all the little primos that you guys have, yeah. the little siblings mm -hmm. you're around, are li are literally looking up to us, to you guys. Like, you haven't made, you did it, da da da. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. bro, we all go through. I wish I had this. So, 
again, what advice would or would you give somebody? Um, I would tell them, him, be yourself. Just love at the end of the day. Like there's people that are going through a lot of things that may take it out on you. But at the end of the day, it's it's I think it's about at the end of the day, it's just about love in the world Thanks. and whatever we're, we're at and in our lives. I think it's just important to always it sounds cheesy, but literally just always spread love like it, at the end of the day, if you're going if I'm going through something, spreading love is always going to make me feel better and mm. maybe even make that person feel better. So I think that's just the most important thing. Like maybe some maybe you spreading love to someone is going to change their life the way they feel Facts. like, mm-hmm. oh, this person was nice to me. He had no reason to be nice to me. I'm going to be nice to the next person. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I think paying it forward. Yeah, exactly. It's paying very it cheesy, very fucking. Nah, but it's true. But it's true. And like, it makes just, a difference. Exactly. Just always try to be the best person you can to even strangers and just spread love. Facts. Steph? Mine would be, since we were talking about like failure and everything, Damn. I think what it would be just don't be scared of, to fail because I feel like it motivates you and it shapes you and it gives you character in a sense. Like we're all going to fail. It's in, it, it's inevitable. Yeah. We're imperfect Literally. people. We're we're not God at the end of the day. So not to be scared of fear. Don't be scared to take risks. Not at all. It's and scary. It's a scary it, thing. It is but scary. And, you know, even if you do fail, I feel like it messes you up. Like hmm. your ego and like yeah. everything. Sometimes you think like, oh, yeah, I aced that test. Bam, said and done. And then you get to the test corner and you're like, wait, <laughs> I, I felt so confident. <laughs> yeah. Like it You look at it like five minutes. Like, yeah, fuck. you're just like, wait, what? Yeah. It snaps you back into reality and I feel like sometimes we need that reality. Yeah. We truly yeah. do. It it does shape us. So don't be scared of fear. And like what he was saying, like love, be present in the moment because time flies by so fast where you're just kinda like, wait, hold on, like the little things matter. People around yeah. you matter, your family matters. Make sure you tell them that you love them every day. People around you. Yeah, mm-hmm. like be appreciative of like just waking up in the morning. Like I always wake up in the morning. It doesn't matter like if I'm waking up at like six o'clock in the morning for the gym and I want to go back to bed. Like in my head, I'm just like, okay, I'm alive. Like it's an accomplishment, you know, like I could breathe. I could get up to go to the gym, even though I hate it, but it's <laughs> you just got to do it. You yeah. just got to do it. And yeah. yeah, it's little things. Don't be scared of fear and just love everybody around you and make sure that, you know, I think the base biggest thing for a lot of people that need to hear it and i tell like the high school girls is worry about the things you can control exactly. and not the things you cannot yeah. exactly. there's more than more than any time there's things that we cannot control we okay. cannot control others mm-hmm. we can control ourselves and that as much as it can affect us like you you have to set that boundary but what you just said right now about like appreciating the people around you and loving them and stuff like that that's like the the biggest thing and one of the reasons I was telling uh um the one of the dudes from yesterday literally a not a random semi random cuz he he was here working on our AC like mm-hmm. literally told him like we were, I was watching like the Will Smith podcast or docu- uh podcast he had uh, mm-hmm. and there were he was talking about like the last time you see your loved one and it was about his dad Knowing he had three months, and every time since then, like it was a last, it was a last because you yeah. never know. Yeah. So that's like he was he was here and he asked me like, oh, what is he talking about now? And I literally told him, but I told him from the point of view where I had to go through that, like yeah. I'm going through that, and I, you know what I'm saying. So that's mm-hmm. why, like, I tell him, and I told him, I was like, dude, that's why even like the girls, obviously, when a guy hugs a girl, it's normal, yeah. but when a guy hugs a guy. For, for a lot of people it's not normal yeah. but yeah. i was like dude but that's how energy is passed on like yeah, yeah. if you're it's really different. like energetic or you're really like loving to this guy or this person you give them a good hug it's just yeah. like that energy is just transferred and they know how much they mean to you how yeah. much yeah. you know you care about them and love is i think love is very powerful mm. and mm-hmm. death is also very powerful yeah death it happens to it's going to happen to all of us and it's happened to it's about what you do in the meantime yep. and it, it really puts you into perspective where like it could all be taken away in a blink of an eye 
Yeah. Or like you kind of wish you did have that family member there just one last time. And it's, that's what I think. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's, you can't say it any other way because that is what it is. Like, yeah. so, you know, how Isaac said, and then on the better, like on a happier, like, live fucking life. You let your life, life, let life Thank happen. You. you live your life. You were made it to this far for a certain fucking reason. Yeah. Exactly. And, and if you don't believe in yourself, just look in the mirror, mm -hmm. see where you're at, and just plan shit out the way it needs yeah. to plan out. And if it doesn't plan out, Fuck it. Everything happens for It me. is what it is. Yeah. yeah. We all have a purpose. Mm, uh, yes. We were here. We were put here for a reason. Yeah. You know? It's about right. what you do with it. Exactly. You know, you, you're, you were lucky to wake up every day. Mm -hmm. So why not take advantage? Exactly. If you got to make clothes, if you got to save people's lives, yeah. if you got to put videos out or you got to kill bugs like I do, <laughs> it's about we doing it. Exactly. Yeah. It's about just effing doing it. And along the way, people, young and older, will see it and maybe just feel inspired with that story. Yeah. You know? Hopefully. At one point, our family's going to be like, hey, <laughs> hey, you're doing this now. My uh, yeah. are going to be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merch, stay tuned. <laughs> but before this one gets right. yeah, put to waste, for a bit. man, warm. <laughs> even better to burn All the right. throat. Right. Cheers. 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 A toast to life, guys. Toast love you guys, life man. Thank love. you, guys. Yes. yes. <sighs> Stay tuned. There we go.